on North Korea, the breaking news. It's the most secretive society on Earth. The diplomatic talks between the U.S. and North Korea are at a standstill. Good morning, and welcome back to Pyongyang. We just came out this morning, and we couldn't see this last night because we got here in the dark, but we actually have a balcony that looks out across the city. <laughs> Edible. Yeah. It's the first day in Pyongyang. We arrived here late last night and just about to go exploring for a full day around the city. Uh, I'm gonna just basically show you everything we see today and try and document as much as possible. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna give my first impressions of Pyongyang and first impressions of North Korea. <laughs> First up this morning, we're going for a walk around Pyongyang. And I think this is what most of us are interested in. Just seeing what the real North Korean people do here and how they live their normal lives. Of course, it's hard to get a real accurate impression because we can't really talk with many people here. Thing that's very interesting so far is that everyone is pretty much dressed the same and apparently it is a rule here there's like a fashion piece that go around and make sure the guys are dressed formally and the women are also dressed formally with skirts and it's quite noticeable that everyone is dressed very formal around Pyongyang. and foreign language bookstore. So this is where you can get a lot of texts about North Korea from their perspective and about um, Kim Jong-il and Kim Il-sung from here, translated into foreign languages. So this next part is apparently where we need to be the most respectful of the whole trip. We're going up here to see the Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il statues, which are quite famous to Pyongyang and North Korea, you might have seen them before. Uh, when we go there, you have to bow. If you don't bow, then you can't go see it. That's just one of the rules here and it's a respect thing. Same as any other religious monument around the world, it has its own rules. So if you want to go there, then you have to go and pay your specs and bow. You also can't take any shots of the statues without them being in full frame. So I can't crop it at all. I have to have the whole statue in the shot. And those are basically the two rules. I'm gonna go in and see it now. Oh, sorry, and one last thing I just forgot is that I needed to change into trousers. So I actually don't have any, but I borrowed some of one of the other guys here. And yeah, you have to wear trousers as well, no shorts or flip-flops or anything. the statues and you can go up and lay flowers there if you want to our guide did the rest of us didn't but again it's a respect thing and yeah you can you can come here I just found out that groups of Chinese tourists aren't allowed here because we are allowed here because we're quite respectful but the North Koreans haven't allowed large groups of Chinese tourists to come to this spot even though there is a lot of Chinese tourism in North Korea I 
just don't want you guys to have any issues when you're buying stuff. Yeah, no. Cool. Look, I just got North Korean money. This is 5,000. So we're now in Mount Daesung Park, and this was one of the highlights of the itinerary because it's May Day Festival right now, which apparently this only ever gets this busy on one day. And there's lots of sort of attractions and food stores and things we can take part in and kind of interact with more local people as well. No idea what's going on. Right now. Oh, I see. Ah, yes, this piece, yes. Yeah? Uh, no, different, not Oreo. Yes, uh, the orange. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's that? Strawberry? Yeah. I think so. No, I think I'm going to stop my hair here, but cheers. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> 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 <Right>, hot. <huh? laughs> I think I have to wait a bit. There you go. I'm almost through one bite. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Nailed it. I'm gonna go see if I can get a ball. Yeah! How's <laughs> it touch? <laughs> can I play? Yeah? Alright, fine. I have to work for it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just played football for about 10 minutes and the whole time it was every kid keeping it away from the white guys. We did get the ball a couple times but as you can see I'm completely out of breath now. We're now getting involved in a tug of war. So, <laughs> yeah, you know how this goes. One pretty intense game of tug of war, and we won. It was the best of three, and we won two. And yeah, that was, was actually quite cool. It was like high fiving all the North Koreans playing here, like doing it together. That was that was a good experience. Lunch, we have Korean hot pot with some shared food. And yeah, this is us. Okay, so here you get a personal hot pot. This is my pork, and this is my hot pot, as demonstrated right here. Yeah, they're cool, yeah. Oh, I should... yeah. We're at Moran Hill now, and again, there's loads of locals out because it's the May Day holiday. So apparently we can walk through for about half an hour now and free to interact with whoever we want as long as we stay as part of this big group we're in. <coughs> okay, actually I realize this video is now getting quite long because we're doing a lot and I want to show you as much of Pyongyang as I possibly can. So I'm going to cut this video here and go to my first impressions next. And then if you want to see what we get up to further in Pyongyang, that'll be in the next video. But for now, first impressions. So, I'm back in Beijing now, I'm out of the country, and I wanted to give my real first impressions of North Korea once I was outside the country, so I feel like I can say whatever I want, and so you guys know that I'm also saying exactly what I want to. I'm not um, limited by being inside the country. And the first thing I wanna say is that I'm yeah, I'm filming. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, man. Yeah. Talking to the camera. So the first thing I want to say is that 
my expectations were beforehand were that I wouldn't be able to really say my own opinion or say much at all to the camera whatsoever and I'd have to be really careful with the kind of photos and videos I was taking while they're asking permission all the time and trying to find out what I can and can't film and what I can and can't say. But although I was only there for in total, um, you'll see in the next videos, I was there in total for about about two and a half days. Um, so I can't fully comment on the whole of North Korea, but from what I can say about Pyongyang is that I was pretty much able to film and say whatever I wanted. As long as it wasn't derogatory to the Supreme Leaders and um, Kim Jong-un and Kim Jong-il and Kim Il-sung, as long as I didn't say anything really like bad about them, then I could say whatever I want. And the, like, I've seen videos before saying um, that they didn't feel comfortable with what they could say to the camera, like, um, felt like they were looking over their shoulders to see, like, if people were listening to them. I didn't really feel that at all. I felt, like, quite able to say what I wanted and be able to film anything, really. Like, the only things you can't film while you're there are military and construction. Uh, the military thing is the same in a lot of countries. It's not just North Korea. And saying things about leaders and kings and stuff is also the same in other countries as well. For example, Thailand is a country similar to that. So I felt like I had lots more ability to say and film and take photos than I'd previously thought beforehand. That being said, it is still a place where you're only shown exactly what they want you to see. So we're on a strict itinerary while we're there. We're taken to all places that we have been given permission to go to beforehand and you can't explore it without local guides and you can't explore it just independently on your own. You're not allowed, for example, just to walk around the streets or leave like the hotel we were staying in. We're not allowed to leave the compound. And um, that's just like one of the rules of travel there. So that you do only see what they want you to see. I can't say that I'm able to comment on real local life and I didn't have many um, interactions with real local people primarily because of the language barrier like I'm not really able to interact with them that much anyway um, so I really can't comment on that side of it I can only just say what I saw while I was there and I want to be really clear in this that I'm not defending or like advocating um, North Korea in any way really I'm just saying what it's like to be a tourist there and what my first impressions were of it of after a couple days spent there the next thing I want to say is that I also heard beforehand that people don't really look at you and if you get eye contact they'll look away or if you try and smile or wave then like they'll shy away and not want to interact with you and again in Pyongyang that wasn't my experience each time I would wave to a kid or like smile at someone occasionally they'd look away and get shy or whatever but for the most part the kid would wave back or smile back or nod their head or whatever um, like I said they still didn't really get a solid one-to-one -one interaction but just from trying that sort of thing in the streets I didn't feel like we were these I don't know I didn't feel like we were these untouchable foreign objects I felt like you could smile and people would generally smile back now this is just my personal experience of having been there for a couple of days and um, like, I, like I say take it all with a pinch of salt because we are only shown what we're allowed to see but I can only comment on what I've seen and there's, there's plenty of other resources out there that you can go and listen to, read or watch or whatever about North Korea as a country, but I can only comment on what I saw and what my first impressions were after being there for a couple of days. So I hope you enjoyed this video, or I hope like it gave you an insight into North Korea anyway. And there's still a couple more to come. I've filmed the rest of this day and then the next day, and check back for those because there's some more information in those too but for now I just want to say thank you for watching and yeah I I'm interested to see what the reaction will be to this and what you think about traveling to North Korea whether you would and let me know all of that in the comments below because I want to get a good conversation going about traveling to North Korea for now I'll see you again in the next video